Hi, I'm Mike Amusio, Video Road Test Editor for Kelly Blue Book, and we're at an interesting event right now. We're at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, and behind us are electric cars, Chrysler's electric cars. Even cooler than that, though, is the guy I'm standing with, Lou Rhodes, and you have the coolest title in the world. You're the President of Envy. That's right. Expand yeah. on that. Well, Tell us who you are, and then give us a little walk around here. Yeah, Envy is uh, Chrysler's internal electric car group. Mm -hmm. uh, we've started the group about three years ago, uh, but we went uh, public with the uh, with the announcement about a year. President of Envy, how cool is that? Tell us what we're standing in front of. What is this? Yeah, this is our Dodge EV. This is a full electric vehicle. It has 150 miles of electric range, uh, currently for our first vehicle, but we have a number of other vehicles which we're going to increase range over time. Uh, it's a 190 kilowatt electric motor. It's about 280 horsepower. Zero to 60 in less than five seconds. We haven't said how much less, but uh, it is quite a bit less. It has a top speed of about 120 miles an hour. Well, well, one of the things, though, about electric cars is torque. Power off the line has got to be impressive. Give, give us those yes. details. So 450 uh, foot-pounds of torque, uh, about 650 newton meters of torque. So, you know, that's the beauty of an electric motor. You get instantaneous torque, you know, as soon as you hit the accelerator. You won't get tire spin because it'll mo it'll monitor that torque so that it's all going forward. But it'll go it'll get instant. This will be five second zero to sixty. And if you listen, there's virtual silence. In fact, there was more noise from the uh, little radio controlled cars that they had running adjacent to this event uh, than is happening right now. Exactly, and it, we don't have HEVAC on, but those are just auxiliary noise. It's, it's pretty quiet, and you'll hear a little rumble here and there of the brake vacuum pump. And other than that, there's nothing else really running. Yeah, let's give it another go here. Wee! <laughs> just, I love the wine too. Oh, that's great. Just smooth, effortless. That's, that's really impressive. I can see why, why electric drive may have huge advantages for for people who really like performance driving. That's that's very impressive. We've replaced the traditional gear shifter with just a push button. We have a single speed uh, reduction. So unlike uh, a lot of vehicles, which are now going to multiple speeds, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight speeds, or, or uh, complex transmissions, we really can do all of the performance and top speed with a single gear. Well, I would usually expect there to be an engine back here, but there is not an engine. So what's under the hood and, yeah, and so, boot? So the hood on this vehicle is in the back uh, of the vehicle. Ooh, carbon fiber. <laughs> Danger, high voltage. What, what happens if I touch this? You can touch it. Okay. Uh, no problem. We uh, just put it on there as a, as a safety precaution for others. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so we we house the electric motor, the 190 uh, kilowatt electric motor, uh, right below the, the carbon fiber cover. Uh, the control unit is on top of the motor. And this is the battery pack. So behind the seat and forward of the motor is the battery pack, which again gives us 150 miles of range. Lithium ion batteries. Uh, this particular pack is uh, air cooled. Uh, so we be we can bring in air circulation, but uh, the temperature of the battery pack never increases more than 10 degrees beyond an ambient temperature. We want to use the motor in multiple applications, and because the the cost of the uh, whole electronic drive system is based on volume, we want to be able to have a family of motors and a family of batteries which we can use in multiple applications so that we can bring up volume. Now on the Chrysler and the Jeep, we'll talk about in a minute. These are range extended electric cars. For 75% of Americans, they drive less than 40 miles a day. So that's why we picked 40 miles for the battery pack. And if, but if you do travel more than 40 miles a day, you know we want you to be able to continue that commute. So all we need to do is create additional electricity to drive the wheels. And that's what the purpose is of the uh, range extender. So for the Jeep, uh, we take the same electric motor again. Now we drive the rear wheels instead of the front wheel. Our idea uh, is to offer a two-wheel drive version, the one we have here today, but to also to do in-wheel motors to each one of the wheels, which provides true four-wheel drive uh, capability. If you have in-wheel motors, you could potentially apply power to wheels individually. That might work as an excellent traction control system. That's exactly when, uh, the benefits. You, you can control each wheel precisely, so off-road uh, going over rocks, going through streams, but even on-road performance. So each wheel can be braked and accelerated separately. We can control the, uh, the, the up to uh, a half a degree of precision for each one of the wheels through a, through a pretty complex uh, control mechanism. 
So these are in the concept stage. Uh, I guess everybody has to ask this, but uh, does this point the way to the future? What are the odds of these kind of vehicles making their way to uh, people's actual driveways? Yeah, we announced uh, last month that one of the three vehicles you see here today will be in production in 2010. Are, are, we, are we guessing? Do I, do I get, can, to, do I get any say in much, that? You can, you can guess as much as you want, and uh, I'll take your recommendation. Okay. Uh, I'll take the yellow one, please. Okay. Cool. We'll, we'll mark you down for that. Well, I look forward to that. Uh, if I can get that yellow Dodge EV, you'll see me driving in here shortly. Uh, thank you very much, Lou Rhodes, the president of Envy. Uh, and keep it right here on KBB.com for more coverage of the auto shows.